Hey there, so I would like you to pause this video, have an attempt at this question, and post your comments in uh, the answers in the comments, whatever they may be, and give a like to this video. It helps the algorithm. So a student reads the following statement: the father determines the sex of a baby. Biologically, yes, and I will explain why. Okay, so there's 46 chromosomes in a human cell, 23 of them pairs, 23 pairs, they occur in pairs. And the 23rd pair, the last 23rd pair, determines the biological sex of the baby. So a male has an XY, and a female has an XX chromosome. Okay, so you inherit 50% from your mother, 50% of your male. So that's, you know, with gamete, sex, uh, gamete cells, sex cells. So that egg cell has half the uh, number of chromosomes. It actually has 23. Um, and a male cell has a 23. Uh, we call them actually haploids. So when in sex cells, they are haploids. It sounds like half. So they have half the amount of chromosomes. Um, normal cells, which have the full 46 chromosomes or full 23 pairs, you could say, are called diploid cells. So they have a diploid number of chromosomes. But let me explain it. So if you're going to inherit something, you might get the X or the Y from your father, right? And the female, you could only get the X. No matter what, you could only get an X. You could get an X from here. So it's better maybe if I label it down. So male, female, X, Y, X, X. And this is probably a better way to um, do it. So you either get the X from your father, X from your mother, that's it. Or you could get a Y from your father. Um, you still get an X, but whatever, you get an X. And that could be different. So this will be a daughter, this will be the son. So it depends on what you get from the father. That determines the biological gender of the baby. So back in the days, they used to blame the woman. But in matter of fact, it was all the man's fault if it was a son or a daughter. So yeah, they got it completely wrong. Now I'm going to talk about this question. Use the information um, to give two reasons why A is more fertile. Well, we have more sperm cells in there. And also B have two um, tails. Some of them have two heads, so they're not going to be functioning uh, properly. The sperm cells in A look much more healthier. Now, I'm going to be posting videos each day, so check them out for GCSE Maths and Sciences. Thank you very much. Take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye.